Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. In what ways did the Supreme Court weaken affirmative action laws? On June 29, 2023, the Supreme Court issued a significant decision in the cases of Students for Fair Admissions, Inc. Ord, V's President and Fellows of Harvard College, and Students for Fair Admissions, Inc. v University of North Carolina, which profoundly impacted the use of affirmative action in college admissions. The court ruled by a 6-3 to three vote that the admissions programs at Harvard and the University of North Carolina, which considered race as a factor, violated the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. This clause prohibits racial discrimination by government entities. The decision emphasized that the Supreme Court's previous precedents, such as Grutter v. Bollinger, had imposed strict limits on the use of race in admissions. The court noted that Grutter required racial preferences to have a logical endpoint and not to involve illegitimate stereotyping or harm to non-minority applicants. The court found that Harvard and UNC's admissions programs did not meet these criteria. They failed to operate their race-based admissions programs in a manner that was sufficiently measurable for judicial review, and the racial categories used were either arbitrary or too broad. The court also rejected the university's assertion that race-based preferences were necessary as they did not provide a clear and measurable justification. The decision effectively ended the use of race-conscious college admissions programs, aligning with the 25-year sunset provision hinted at in Grutter. The court stated that the use of racial preferences must end at some point, as enshrining permanent justifications for such preferences would offend the Constitution's guarantee of equal protection. The ruling left open the possibility for service academies, like the U.S. Naval Academy and West Point, to continue using race-conscious admissions programs, but this was not directly addressed in the decision due to the specific cases involved. The dissenting opinions, written by Justices Sonia Sotomayor, Elena Kagan, and Katanji Brown-Jackson, argued that the decision rolled back decades of precedent and progress toward racial equality and cemented a superficial rule of colorblindness in an endemically segregated society. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.